Get ready to match the stars from Chips, Robert Pine, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Jamie Lee Curtis, Dick Martin, and Betty White as we play the star set of Big Money Match Game. And now, here's the star of Match Game, Gene Rayburn. All right, Darren. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be happy you came today because the Open Air Lunatic Asylum is in session. <laughs> Drive in. Uh, would you join me, please, in welcoming Kirsty Alley and Tavy Lee over there? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just to uh, refresh our, uh, the memories of our viewers here, Tavy is from Houston, Texas, right? Right. And uh, she's a very happy lady and a lady filled with accomplishments, and she's very proud of her grandchildren. Sure I am. And after Texas, I love California. Yeah. Really? Really. You think you might stay? I think I'll stay here a long time. <laughs> well, good. Welcome. Thank you. And Kirsty here is an interior designer from Wichita Falls, Texas. Well, Kansas. Uh, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> right. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. All right. Here we go. We're going to start. Whoops. Wait a minute. All right, come back. Oh, that's it. All right, now, bing, bing. We finished that one. Bing. There we go. Now, all right. <clears throat> Let's see now. This is round two, and uh, Tavy, you're ahead, so we're going to ask you to go first. I'll take eight. Okay. <laughs> Robbie the robot said, I hate being made out of old vending machine parts. Every time someone shakes my hand, I have an uncontrollable urge to give him blank. She was a curse. You don't play, Brett. Are you aware oh, of that? Oh, boy, am I relieved. Betty doesn't play. The two of you do not play. I wasted all that thinking time. Robbie the Robot said, I hate being made out of old vending machine parts. Every time someone shakes my hand, I have an uncontrollable urge to give him... A sandwich. A sandwich. No. Have, have you ever purchased a sandwich in a vending machine? No. What have you purchased in a vending machine? A sandwich. Coffee. Coffee. You ever get change in a vending machine? Yeah. What do you say about this? Have you ever seen these sandwiches they put yeah. in vending machines? Pass. I said a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Okay, Charles, what do you say? I said cigarettes. Cigarettes are sold in vending machines. I suppose anything you get in a vending machine would be okay, right, Jamie? Change. Change is a good answer. Yeah, see, I think that's a definitive answer. Change, Change. very that's good. Okay, or a candy bar, right. So, Tavy, not too good. <laughs> All right, now, Christy, you need two to tie and three to win. One prison guard said to another, he said, that guy in death row is the most cooperative prisoner I've ever seen. When he heard he was going to fry, he covered himself with blank. <laughs> Gotcha. There we go. One prison guard said to another, that guy in death row is the most cooperative prisoner I've ever seen. When he heard he was going to fry, you know what that colloquial is, he covered himself with... Cooking oil. Cooking oil. Right. little lady over there said he covered himself with cooking oil. I'm uh, finding the right wavelength again with uh, Kirsten. Yeah! Okay. okay. <clears throat> well, he gets one answer away. He gets so cocky, there's no living with <laughs> Woo-hoo. I said oil, grease, and oil your butt. All right. Boys outside. One more will win the game for her. Chuck? Mazzola oil. Mazzola oil. All right. Okay. 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 Well, Tavy, it was a pleasure to do business with you, my dear. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. We're going to send many prizes your way. Some wondrous things that you can give away to your friends. Goodbye, Tavy Lee. Are you ready? Yes. Sir. Okay. Here we go for the big money now, Kirsty. The super match. We polled the studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Someone to blank. 
Remember, it's $500 for matching their most popular, $250 for the second most popular, and then $100 for the third. Now remember how to choose your stars. I yes. Robert. <laughs> Robert. Look alive, hon. As someone to love. Someone, someone to, to talk to. Someone to talk to. Okay. <laughs> Betty. Someone to watch over oh, me. Okay. Yeah, that's Not good. Request. Yes, yeah. someone to watch over me, someone to talk to, and someone to love are the three they've given you. You want one of those or one of your own? I want someone to love. Really? Hands up, Jimmy. Oh, all right. Someone to love is the one she wants. Let's find out if it's up there, and if so, where? We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 number. Someone to watch over me. There's Betty's answer. A wonderful song. Let's take a look at the $250 response. Someone to talk to. You got two out of the three they've given you so far. It looks like a good omen that someone to love is up there on top. Slide the big one. Okay. Now, another $500. That means the least to play for is 10 times that amount or $5,000. And again, you're going to spin the star wheel and good luck to you. We'll all root that you roll okay, a double here. A double. Here we go. Ready. Big Chuck there, you got a great player, and good luck to you. Here it is. It says, blank, paw, that's P-A-W, blank paw. Blank paw. <laughs> you got one? It's in your head. Okay, don't say it. We'll call on you as soon as Charles is finished. <laughs> All right, he is now finished, Kirsty. If you give us the answer that he's written down, we give you $5,000. You got ESP flowing over to Charles? Mm -hmm. Okay, say your answer. South. South Paul. Right off the bat. South Paul. Okay. I did a special with the Texas Cowgirls. And so... Do you see that bad acting that he accused me of doing last week? Go ahead. You did a special with I'm a Texas... I'm trying to make believe I didn't get the right answer because... <laughs> oh, my God. Now, let's bring on two more players. Here comes Dick Shanhouse and Linda McGee. Let's welcome them. Hello, Dick. Hello, Linda. Welcome to both of you. As you know, both of you will be playing two games, and uh, we'd like to get acquainted with you before we begin the competition. Linda, tell us about you. Well, I'm a secretary, and ten years ago, I married my handsome high school sweetheart. Uh -huh. And we have a four-year-old named Clippy, and in three months, we're going to have a little girl named Melissa. <laughs> That's all planned out. Is there a way of predetermining that now? Well, no. Not you're really. just hoping. Yeah. Okay, well, you're a very pretty baby. And, I mean, your baby's must be very pretty because you're a very pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's spoken for. What the heck? Dick, uh, how about the story of your life? Well, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. I live in Westminster, California, beautiful Westminster, California now. And I'm a textile salesman in Los Angeles. Okay, good luck to both of you. you. We'll begin by asking Linda to choose A or B. B, please. Okay. Let's see what it says here. On this day to 1957... John Daring became the first man ever to cross an auto worker's picket line. On this same date, Mr. Daring also became the first man ever to become a blank on a Chevy. <laughs> a historic day. And you were there. Should we start with that? Eh? On this date in 1957, John Daring became the first man ever to cross an auto worker's picket line. On this same date, Mr. Daring also became the first man ever to become a blank on a Chevy. A dead man. <laughs> no. Whatever you say. A dead man, she no, says. A dead man. Dead, dead, as in not living. A corpse. Yes, a oh. dead man. A corpse. A corpse, yes. Well, if he was what I put down here, he would have to be dead. A hood, a hood ornament. ornament. <laughs> it's a definitive answer. 
That's two in a row for old Robert Pine. Yeah, 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 oh, big deal, Jello. <laughs> big deal, Jello. Come on, fellas, show us your card. I said he be... I don't like these communist questions. I said he became Fender. A Fender. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. For those of you who have color sets, do not adjust them. Brett is wearing her black and white outfit again. <laughs> Hood ornament. Hood ornament is good as an advancer. Well done there, Charles. That's his nose. His nose, I see. Okay. Jamie, uh, Daring also be the first man ever to come blank on a Chevy. A dead man on a seat cover. A seat cover. Oh. And a seat cover on a Chevy. Give me one. Yes. No. Hood ornament. Hood ornament, that seems to be it. <laughs> that smart lady on the end, I'm sure, has it. Your basic H.O. Yes, oh. <laughs> All right, Linda. You got the hang of it now, haven't you? <laughs> yes, I do. You'll have another shot or two at it. Dick, this is yours. Harvey said, I've just been reading a revised version of the Bible. It's really revised. In this one, instead of tablets, Moses comes down from the mount with a blank. I'm sorry, I listen, but I... Remember, Moses came down from the mount with the tablets, yes. on which were written the Ten Commandments. All right. yes. In this revised version of the Bible, instead of tablets, Moses comes down from the mount with a... Very good. A plus. All right. Harvey said, I've just been reading a revised version of the Bible, and it's really revised. In this one, instead of tablets, Moses comes down from the mount with a tape recorder. Tape recorder. Maybe a far out. A far out answer may be a little too far out, but a good, I think a good answer. But far out. Yes. Yes, I have a, a paperback edition. A paperback edition of the Ten Not Commandments. Not bad. Okay. Oh, See how good... quickly he falls by the wayside? Two good answers and he <laughs> just blows right. it. No, it's paperback all was not bad. He didn't match. I said bad. notebook. Notebook is good, too. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. I said in case there were changes in the cabinet and Olivetti. And Olivetti. <laughs> typewriter. Stinks. Yes. No, that's good. I think typewriter is quite good. Don't you agree? I love it. Jamie, don't you think typewriter is a good answer? Not as good as mine. Not as good as yours? What have you got? Steno pad. Steno pad is very good. Thank you. Right. I got a friend. Well, okay. by, by the time he came down, there was television, so he came down with cue cards. Cue cards. Cue cards. I see. Okay. What have you got there? Mine is just terrible. What? I just wish I were some other where. I did, a Xerox machine. I don't know. Perfect. No, that's wonderful. Xerox is excellent, isn't it? Well, there we are at the end of round one. And where are we? We ain't nowhere. I'll tell you that's where we are. But we're going to get somewhere right after this. We go to round two. And uh, since uh, the score is tied and Linda went first last time, we'll ask you to go first this time. All right, I think I'll take A. You got it. Did you hear about the Special Academy Award? No, no darling. No. I'll be glad to tell you about it. It was for Best Supporting Role. It went to Blank's Bra. <laughs> Special Academy Award for the Best Supporting Role it went to Blank's Bra. Okay. Here we go. Dick, did you hear about the Special Academy Award? It was for Best Supporting Role. It went to Blank's Bra. Dolly Parton's. You agree with him? Well, I've never seen a Dolly Parton movie, but mine is uh, <laughs> Raquel. Raquel Welch. Okay. I agree with you on that sentiment, exactly. Well, you know, I room with Miss White, and I damn near said Betty. <laughs> <laughs> but then I suddenly remembered Dolly Parton. Yes, indeed. That's one for Dick. Back to Raquel. Back to Raquel. So we have two Raquels and one Dolly. Jamie, if what do you contribute? If they were Grammy Awards, I'd say Dolly, but they're Academy Awards, so I said Raquel. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. A logical right. choice. Yeah. I think there's a lot more support in Dolly Parton. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Need for it. I just wasn't sure how you spelled it. That's... <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> oh, you are a sneaky one. I know you're better smeller than that. Uh, 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 oh, it reminds me. Well, I can't go into that. <laughs> Dick, you've got sorry. three. Now, let's see what Linda's going to do with her response here. Rodney Rich said, I don't think my new bodyguard is going to work out, actually. Instead of carrying a gun, he carries a blank. 
Not me that said that. Instead of carrying a gun, he carries a blank. Rodney Rich is speaking. I don't think my new bodyguard is going to work out at all. Do you understand? Instead of carrying a gun, he carries a... Last chance. Hmm. Linda, you have a beautiful smile. You are a very personable lady. Okay, Pine. Rodney Rich said, I don't think my new bodyguard is going to work out. Instead of carrying a gun, he carries a... Purse. A purse! <laughs> Very good answer, I would say. That would be the definitive answer. Well, since I'm the definitive player, I have the definitive answer. Aha! Purse for Linda. You have a purse for Linda? Robert Pine better watch it or I'll hit him with my powder puff. Powder puff! <laughs> That's okay. a wonderful answer. That's that a wonderful answer. No tanks. Good answer. Leave her alone. What do you say, Chuck? Feather duster. Feather duster. <laughs> well, you're surprising me. I thought we'd get six purses over here. You did. What do you got there, Jamie? Handbag with a Twinkie in it. Handbag with a Twinkie in it. Very good. Thank you. The Twinkie gives it a weight. So in case you no, have to slug a mugger, she, yes. One more purse. For Another five. purse? Yeah. Show us your purse. He was Rodney Rich, wasn't he? Yes. I misread your accent completely. I said he had a nuclear missile. A nuclear missile? Instead of a carrying a gun, he carries a nuclear missile. He was rich. Boy, that would be rich indeed. Okay, so there it is, three to three, and we'll tell you what happens when we get a tie after we tell America about this. Okay, we don't have time uh, to do the tiebreaker, but of course we will the next time we get together, all right? Look forward to seeing both of you, and we'll look forward to seeing all of you. And we'll look forward to seeing you. Something yeah. I can do for anyone before we leave here. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss me. Yes, yeah. kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll kiss you. Bye. Isn't that uh, nice? Really? Wow. Oh, 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 oh. What a job. Oh, yes. I like you that. You two can get your own show. I guess so. You better talk to Mark Goodson. He's floating around here someplace. Ask him if you can get your own Mark, show. Mark, can I have my own show? Yes. So I can kiss yes. Him yes. There he is. He said yes. You've got your own okay, show. Good. And we hope you'll join us tomorrow for Match Game. I'm Gene Rayburn. Goodbye. Today's consolation prizes are... Bunny on TV is nearly extinct. A good comic is a rare sighting these days. So when we find one, we study it. But sometimes we need to get closer. Here at the GSN Comics and Captivity Institute, we're like a hothouse where the funny flower can grow. Anybody from Cleveland here tonight? Anybody show of hands? Game show crowds can be brutal. We're making sure these kids are ready. National Lampoon's Funny Money, a new game show featuring the best young comics in showbiz every night at 10. Comedy. It's a science. Holes and minutes just add water to golden dips, new spoon and fried donut mix. Great family fun. And Playmobil, the little people that can go anywhere, do anything, and can be anyone your kids can imagine. That's Playmobil. And from Hawaiian Tropic comes an attractive beach mat and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the tan of the island. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tottman production. This program was edited for broadcast.